Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Our guest programmer this month on TCM is a busy man. Humberto Martinez is a professor of radiology at the University of Miami, training a new generation of doctors and specialists, but much more importantly than training doctors. He runs and operates his own movie theater out of his home called Cine Martinez. And he's the winner of our first TCM Backlot Guest Programmer Contest. Humberto, welcome. Hi, it's a pleasure. It's a dream to be here. No, it's great to have you. Umberto's next selection, as were his previous two, is a musical from Columbia, again directed by George Sidney. It's a musical parody of the day in March of 1958 when Elvis Presley was drafted to the Army from 1963. Bye-bye, Bertie. Uh, again, George Sidney, George Sidney, George Sidney. George Sidney. Uh, so, specifically, Bye-bye, Bertie has a particular place in your history. Yes, Bye-bye, uh, Bertie um, was the first film... Uh, feature film uh, in my collection. Uh, Columbia Pictures 8mm Division in the 70s had, was printing these and uh, my wife bought me that as a birthday present. Of course it was a 4x3 pan and scan print but it had a great track and we really had a great time with it. I don't know how many times I showed that. People were afraid to visit because I was going to show them Bye Bye Birdie. And so, yeah, that started the, the bug of collecting film. And then I went on to collect other 8mm, uh, Super 8mm and 16mm prints, which they're still with me in my collection, you know, from other collectors who passed them on. So when you started this collection, it starts with Bye Bye Birdie in the 70s. Do you remember the year, early 70s, mid-70s? It was 75. 75. So, I mean, and Margaret... Uh, still a, a huge, huge star when you collected, when you started yes. this collection. As a matter of fact, um, Anne Margaret used to come to the Fountain Blue, where I also showed movies, to perform at the La Ronde Room. And I remember the security guard uh, who became a friend of mine. I said, I have to meet Anne Margaret. I have to meet Anne Margaret. And he says, I don't know if I can do that, but I can put you very close to the stage on one of her performances. I says, I'll buy that. And so I took the first Super 8 millimeter sound camera that Kodak put out, put out in 73, and I was actually literally steps from the stage, and I started filming as she was performing. Of course, the camera, you know, with a little purring sound, she turned around, and I said, oh, my God, she's going to embarrass me. Now she walked towards me in this beautiful, tight, glittery dress, and I, I just lost, my legs were flaking, my, I lost focus on the camera, but I still have that footage somewhere, and I, I think I'm going to transfer it to video. Uh, it's too bad you don't remember that story well. <laughs> that was, it was vivid. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that, that's going to stay with you. That's, uh, we've, uh, I've interviewed her a couple of times at a, a few different events. She is uh, an enormously private person, but so kind and decent uh, and lovely and considerate of others, so... It's always nice when you run into that among big Hollywood stars. Yes, good to hear that. Uh, what else about Bye Bye Birdie? Um, uh, uh, there's another big uh, the popular star who played the boyfriend. Bobby Rydell. Bobby Rydell. I mean, he was riding high. You know, his, yeah. his records were selling like crazy. So I don't know how many movies he made, but uh, it's a great number. Uh, I've got a lot of living to do that where everybody's together in, in a, um, uh, a soda shop, I guess. Uh, shop and they were all dancing and that's one of the greatest numbers in that film the Every number is terrific in this film, you know the the opening sequence where all the teenagers are are, are Gossiping over the phone line and mm -hmm. it's terrific if you can see it on a revival on a big screen see it uh, Turn away from anything that looks square and pen and scan on I know that TCM never shows anything pen and scan you guys always show things yeah. in the correct aspect ratio so that's why I love the channel. Uh, all right, we'll talk more uh, after the movie. Let's check it out. From 1963, with a cast that includes Janet Lee, Dick Van Dyke, Anne Margaret, Maureen Stapleton, Bobby Rydell, and Jesse Pearson as Conrad Birdie. Here's Bye Bye Birdie. <laughs> 